garden hose spray nozzle will be fixed. I don't know how many of these I've had through the years. These two obviously are pretty old. This one I bought just a couple years ago, but they all stop working eventually. I mean, they spray fine, but they stop shutting off, and that's pretty annoying. So instead of throwing these in the landfill like I usually do and buy a new one, I thought that I'd try to fix these. I'm going to start with this one. This looks like the easiest to take apart because it's just a twist to shut off and to start it spraying. And I assume this just unthreads here. There we go. All right. That's the center core. It looks like the water goes through the center of this, comes out around this uh, sort of cone shaped tip here and then this must sort of channel the flow. There is a o-ring below that tip which would stop the water from coming back down this sleeve and that isn't really a problem. But for it to shut off it looks like this face must just seat up against the inside here. So is there a gasket in there? I don't feel anything rubber. So, let me see, there's no gasket down in there. It looks like maybe the end is uh, slightly cone-shaped to mate with this cone-shaped tip here. About the best I can do, I think, is to try to clean this off. If I take a little emery cloth and just burnish this a little bit, see if I can clean that up, just make a nicer surface. But I have a feeling that this just is not going to seal again. It's just too worn. It almost feels like it's a little groove that's been worn in there from years of use. So we'll put it back together and I'll give it a try. But I have a feeling this isn't going to work any better than it did. Okay, that's number one. So this second one here, sometimes this shuts off, sometimes it doesn't. This is a Gilmore Supreme. Uh, I was looking this over and it looks like the only thing that comes apart is right here inside this nozzle there is a insert that has sort of a hexagon shape like for an Allen wrench. But I don't have I don't have an Allen wrench that big. But what I did discover is that that's about the size of a 5 16 inch nut that fits that hexagon shape there pretty well. I'm thinking if I just use this uh, threaded rod here like a driver, maybe I can unscrew this whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Look at that, a washer fell right out of there. And that's just a rubber flat washer. Actually it looks to be in pretty good shape. There's a residue kind of stuck on there. Yeah, I can kind of scrape that off. Maybe if I just clean up this washer. I don't see any splits or any worn areas in the washer. That looks pretty good. And then what about here? There's just a, a face of a seat here. It looks to be in pretty good shape and I don't I don't find any goo or anything dirty on there. Now that we've wiped it all off, I am going to just put it back in there. And See if that makes a difference. Thread this back in. There we go. All right. I don't know. 
we'll test that. Okay, that's number two. The third one here, this is also a Gilmore product. It uh, has an adjustable spray shapes or patterns, which work just fine. Uh, the thing with this one is that this doesn't shut off at all, and there's no squeeze, no spring back. And so we're going to see about opening this up. Um, I've been looking this over, and what I found is that there's a collar here that unthreads. Then this, there's a little uh, notches in this collar here that look like they take a spanner wrench. So I made a spanner wrench. I made this spanner wrench just from an old piece of steel bracketing. I ground this out to the width that matches those uh, notches in that collar. If we can take that apart, yeah, that unthreads pretty well. Okay, that's a, kind of a sleeve with a collar on top. Oh, that's a screen, a filter screen. And it looks pretty clean on the back side. All right, well, that's interesting. Oh, and there's also a gasket and o ring right here that sits underneath this screen. All right, we're going to put those there, keep those in the right order. It's turning. Coming out? Yeah, I think it's coming out. All right, screw came out. Now what happens? Uh, oh, okay, that's the adjustable head. Let's see. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that apart. There's a hex-shaped uh, collar down in there. Yeah, that unthreads. All right. Well, that's just the hose attachment. It's got an O-ring on this side. Ah, there we go. That whole nozzle pulled off. It's getting closer. I can't see how the rest of this comes apart. Okay, well there's nothing to lose. I'm going to try to break this thing open and just see what's in here. Pry it apart. There we go. Okay. Well, that's stuck there. Well, that's moving now. Inside the handle, it just rubs on that uh, oval surface right there. There we go. You know what? That's the lock to lock the trigger on. It engages there to keep the water flowing if you want to lock it on. Yeah, get rid of that. I put this handle back on. Maybe it'll work. That springs now. I like that. All right. I'll put the rest of this back together and see. If, I don't know. Maybe it's going to work. All right. Well, I'll give it a try. This trigger is working now. We'll just hook it up and see how it works. Now, this one still doesn't work. So, I just have to put up with that or get another nozzle. Okay, this is the second nozzle. Yeah, looks like it's working. I like it. And this is the third nozzle. That's working pretty well. Yeah. All the different spray settings still work. And it shuts off. 
All right, I like that. Minus the lock to lock it on, which I never used anyway, but at least it's working. Good. So two out of these three I was able to fix. This one still doesn't shut off, so I'll get rid of it and replace it. I do like to have one on each of my hoses. This one you saw, I had to get rid of the trigger lock to get it to work, but at least now it shuts off and I didn't use the trigger lock anyway. So I should be good for the rest of the summer.